how y'all doing today this crazy redneck I'm here to make another video um, as y'all can see most of the time when I'm on here I do some of them are crazy some of them are stupid some of them are funny some of them are inter interesting I can say right and some of them are just instructional well in today's episode of uh, well I'm gonna call it in America uh, you know, it's some things are need to be changed. Some things are, you know, put on themselves. And well, here we go. In America, we have to press one to speak English. I don't think that should be. Is it, English is the main, uh, you know, language. So, I think they should push one for Spanish or Chinese or something like that. But, you know, that's the way it is, I guess. So, uh, in America, the homeless go without eating. So, you know, that part of that's on them. They chose to go be homeless. Um, the ones that... You know, their house burned down and stuff, or end up homeless. You know, they should make shelters and stuff for them. But, um, you know, a lot of that they, they choose on their own. So, we can't really help too much on that, but there can be some changes. In America, the elderly go without needed medicines. That needs to change, be changed. The elderly needs their medicines just as much as we need our medicine. Now, if we got a cold, we take cold medicine. If they have diabetes, they need diabetes medicine. High blood pressure, they need blood pressure medicine. You know, stuff like that. They need their medicines just as much as we need ours and kids need theirs. That needs to be changed. In America, the mentally ill go without treatment. They need their treatment just as well as the elderly needs their medicines. I mean, you know, some sometimes we can't help them, but they need their treatment just as well as anybody else needs anything. It, that that tax on with the elderly needing their medicine. For outstanding value for those there can be some changes in that. But I can't do it. This one here really needs to be changed. In America, our troops go without the proper equipment. That's not going to happen. That's not going to work very well. That's like call, saying the medic, uh, paramedics or fire department, say fire department, or got called out to house fire and don't have the proper equipment. Like, say, they don't have water for their truck or oxygen to go inside the building. The, you, they need to change that. Or medical EMS go without having stretcher or medicines or bandages and stuff like that. Our military is the backbone to America. It needs to be changed. In America, our vets go without promised benefits. You know, they go into the military, you know, with a pension, or a pension at the end. You know, retirement and stuff. You know, and they're not, I don't even know how to say it, they're not granted with it at the end. They get out and they retire after being 30 years, 40 years in it or longer. And they don't get the help that they need. That's another one that needs to be changed. Real quick like. Same with the military. Uh, a lot of this stuff needs to be changed. In a way. But. All. You know it's America. They're going to do what they want to do. Yet we donate. Billions to other countries. Before helping. Our own. That, you know, that's not, that's not right. That billion needs to stay here in America. Not go over to Iraq that we just bombed. 
not go over to ISIS that we're at war with, not go to Chinese that, you know, are sending over stuff that are not safe for our kids. They might have changed that, but any other country stuff like that that don't that we go after and stuff at wars or whatever they don't need our money they have their own money all we're doing is helping them make more money and then they're in here pretty soon we won't have nothing over here so that needs to be changed do you have the guts to share this one percent will 99 percent won't have the nerve to repost this video so if you would just repost it share it like it comment on it tell me what you think good have just a little bit of gut inside you that can send it to another family member here in America or a friend or just repost it on Twitter or Instagram or whatever you call that or even on Facebook you know it's like I said, 1% won't, or take that back, 1% will, 99% of you won't even have the nerve to do it. So, I hope to see this video back out again, whether it be Facebook, because I don't get on Instagram or Twitter, I'm not a tweeter, so hopefully I'll see it back on Facebook or somebody posting it onto Facebook or somebody's talking about it, say, hey look, this crazy redneck guy made a video on stuff that you know so hopefully i'll see you guys and maybe i'll get a couple views on it i hope so maybe people will see it and comment and like subscribe to my page if you're not subscribed already and we hope to see you another day well until then don't do nothing i wouldn't do and y'all be safe you hear see y'all later bye